Hey guys, how's it going? Textfix here. Hope you're doing well. Since many of you seem to like these comparison style videos that I've been doing, I thought why not start the new year with one comparing macOS and Windows, the two main computer operating systems that are widely used today. Like all of my other comparison videos, I'm going to be splitting the entire thing into categories and then give either macOS or Windows a point when they do better in that category. And this is to allow it to be fair and unbiased, but also to go into detail for each thing. The categories in this comparison are ease of use, third party apps, hardware variety, performance, and finally, security. There will be chapters built into the timeline down below if you want to skip forward or backward to any specific categories, but without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the first category is ease of use. Although we probably don't consider it much on a day-to-day -day basis, it's one of the most important things as not everyone is as tech savvy as maybe you or I are. Windows is by far the most widely used computer operating system, so chances are if you've used a computer, you've probably used Windows. But in terms of the general layout and the clarity of the interface, it isn't the easiest thing in the world to use. This is definitely objective, but I think that Windows, especially Windows 10, just feels a bit clunky and dated with the design that has ultimately remained the same since its 2015 release. The menus and the windows themselves are very pointy and everything seems to be squished in the bottom taskbar instead of in the other corners of the screen and this results in a confusing layout that doesn't feel that intuitive because everything is just on the bottom and not anywhere else. Some people may like it, but I think that macOS is much more user friendly with a more rounded aesthetic in macOS Big Sur and a layout that is spread across all the four corners of the display so that you know that if you want to access the control center, you go to the top right and if you want to access any your apps, you go to the bottom where the dock is. It just feels a lot more intuitive and natural. Along with this, if you're someone who's used to Apple's design language, as I largely am, macOS may just seem a lot nicer to use because everything is consistent between all of your devices. The app icons look the same, the menus are similar, and everything just feels like an extension of your iPhone or your iPad or your other Apple devices. As I said though, this is all objective, and it generally comes down to what you prefer, what you're used to, and what you want out of your operating system. So for that, both macOS and Windows are on a point this round, making the score an even one-to-one. -one. Next up, third-party apps. macOS has its app store that offers a ton of different apps that are checked by Apple themselves to ensure that they are of high quality, and for those apps that you can't find on the app store, you can of course download them from elsewhere online. Not only that, but the new Apple Silicon powered Macs that have been recently released now have the ability to run iPhone and iPad apps on them from the App Store, so long as developers opt in. And I think that this is really cool because it means that you can just access all of the stuff on your phone on your Mac if you so please to. Windows is pretty much the same as on macOS, except that the Windows Store has less good quality apps in my opinion, and mobile apps are only available through the Your Phone app if you have a Samsung phone. However, Windows tends to get more third party apps available simply because developers want to create their app for the platform that has the most users, which in this case is of course Windows. This makes sense if you're a developer, but it sucks if you use a Mac and you can't get an app because the developer didn't want to create a version that will be exactly the same. I'm looking at you, Visual Studio. In terms of the actual apps themselves though, the macOS versions are usually better optimized for the hardware with less crashing and less bugs, and the design of them always feels a lot nicer to use. It almost feels as if the developers try harder when making a macOS app in comparison to a Windows app because the fonts and the transparency on macOS usually tend to be a lot more consistent across all of the apps, whereas on Windows, some apps still look like they've been made in the 1990s or the early 2000s and have not changed since. Anyhow, this leads to macOS winning the point this round and the score being 2 to 1, purely just because quality over quantity even if there are some limitations. Moving on, the next category is hardware variety. Much like iOS and Android, if you want the Apple experience, you have to pay the Apple tax on the hardware. Don't get me wrong, I really like Apple's Mac hardware. It's well designed and it feels really premium to use, but it's boring as the design changes are very incremental and the price you pay for the hardware is way too overpriced in comparison to what you can get on a Windows computer. Apple's lowest priced Mac is the Mac Mini at $699 and that kind of doesn't count as a computer because you have to buy all the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse and all the other peripherals all separately. The cheapest MacBook is the MacBook Air at $9.99 and the cheapest desktop Mac is $10.99. In stark contrast, you can get a Windows computer at pretty much every price point there is. You can get something at £200 and you can get something at £2,000 depending on what you need. Not only that, but the actual hardware itself is often better value with more stuff for your money. 
and you can find things that Mac users can only dream of having, like touch screens, pen support, or face unlock. Additionally, when building your own Windows computer, you can upgrade the hardware as and when you feel necessary to increase the RAM, the graphics, and or the storage, unlike on a Mac where the solution is often send it to Apple to be fixed, or buy a new Mac, both of which tend to be quite costly. And this is what earns Windows a point this round, making the score even again at 2 to 2. On the topic of value for money, performance is also another area where this is relevant. As of right now, before the whole Apple Silicon transition for the Mac lineup has taken place, Windows definitely offers you better performance for your money. As I said, macOS comes with the hefty price of Apple hardware, but it would make sense for the 1099 iMac to be the fastest performing thing because it's so expensive. But the problem is, is that the Intel version still suffers from sluggish performance and stuttering when doing anything from simply opening apps to high-end video editing. On the other hand, Windows can give you some really good performance for your money, especially with the newer CPUs and graphics cards being miles better than what they were previously. And things like gaming or video editing can generally be a lot smoother at the same price point as a desktop iMac. An example of this good value is the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 that I reviewed a month or so ago. The SSD and the decent chipset allow for a crazily fast laptop at the price of just £429. You simply cannot find that kind of price to performance ratio on a Mac. At least for now. As I've mentioned a couple times in this video already, there are new M1 Apple Silicon Macs that are slowly coming out as Apple makes their transition from Intel chips to their own custom ones. These new custom chips offer a cutting edge experience in terms of efficiency and integration with the operating system and much like how the A14 allows for the iPhone 12 to run with not that much RAM, the M1 chips have made the new MacBook Air and MacBook Pro and Mac Mini extremely fast with incredible battery life. However, as this transition is not yet fully complete, the rest of Apple's lineup has yet to get this lift in performance, meaning that for now, although yes, the M1 Macs are technically faster and make the price of $699 or $999 much more worth it, overall, macOS performance is worse for your money than on Windows. This will all change without a doubt, but as of this moment, right now, at the start of 2021, the score is now 3-2 for Windows because it offers better performance at every price range, instead of on a Mac where there's good performance at the lower price range, but at the higher end, it's not as good because of the Intel chips. Finally, the last category is security. It's no denying that Windows is more likely to fall victim to any cyber attacks or malware, as it has a larger user base and much more opportunity of causing havoc. macOS, on the other hand, is usually considered more secure as a result of this, and although that's not to say that Windows and Microsoft don't care about security, Windows by itself isn't as secure as macOS because of that higher chance of related issues. Sure, it still has Windows Defender which has gone a lot better in recent years, and Windows gets monthly security updates to patch any new bugs or exploits that may be found, but in general macOS just feels safer to use because of Apple's tight hold on privacy. At the end of the day, both operating systems can fall victim to attacks and malware, and you should still be careful on a Mac as there can still be macOS specific malware, but Windows is just more likely to fall victim, and that's simply just because more malware exists for it. And for that, macOS wins this round's point, making the final score 3 to 3. So in conclusion, which is better, macOS or Windows? Both have their strengths and weaknesses, and I think that it largely comes down to what you prefer yourself and what you want out of your operating system. If you need something that will be compatible with most third-party software, and something that will fit your budget, Windows is the way to go. But likewise, if you're invested in the Apple ecosystem and want something that you know will go nicely with everything else that you have, and will be great for creating content and just general usage, macOS is an equally great option. And that's why I want to hear from you in the comments down below. Which one do you prefer, macOS or Windows? The choice is yours to decide. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, as it really helps the channel out. This is Textbooks here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.